So my name is Kurt Donovan. Uh, I'm an artist. I've been making music for around five years, and I make a lot of like alternative rock music. I am Mesolith, M-E-Z-O-L-I-T-H. I was doing like my own music or whatever. What's going on? My name is Greg P. I make uh, breakcore hip hop, as I like to call it. Like a year after I started making music, I started doing events as well, just to kind of give myself and like other people like uh, platforms where they can actually like be able to perform and like get noticed and recognized and grow. And I started a series of events called Come As You Are that was kind of just trying to help bring a lot of the underground scene in New Jersey together. <laughs> and then from doing that there was a lot of uh, smaller artists who wanted to perform because those those shows I put a lot of like bigger Jersey artists on those shows and there was a lot of smaller artists who wanted to perform but I felt as though there should be a place where smaller artists actually get a chance to develop and consistently be able to perform and get better and grow their network of people rather than just catering to a bigger artist so um, that's why I started Underground Developmental over a little over a year ago. I remember first going there back in uh, November last year, seeing how it first was in its early stages with like a few people here and there. And then say like a month or two after, it's just flooded with people. Not even just artists, it's like people coming to check it out and turn up with everybody else. People coming to try the open mic. And it's incredible to see everybody supporting each other. Everybody celebrating our art together. It's a wonderful sight to see. Seeing uh, all these amazing artists, amazing people, amazing creatives just evolve and like, you know, finding success and finding their lanes. It's really, uh, it's a really beautiful thing. And I'm so happy that everyone in the Jersey scene is really uh, getting their feet wet and like having their shine and gaining their respect. I, I know that there's so many talented creatives in New Jersey and I feel as though I'm one of them. And there's just been like so many voices that haven't been amplified so i just feel like that's the main thing that really needs to happen in jersey and i feel like it is <laughs> scene in New Jersey and um, really just get a lot of new artists the ability to actually grow and gain more of a fan base and gain more traction and just get better in their artistry. In terms of my own independent position, i say I've never had more personal growth and development than when I stepped foot into the Jersey community. It took my art and my motivation and my creativity to new heights. Jersey scene has been like evolving and transforming since like when I uh, went by since like 2018 from going from club hip hop to you know blending more of genres with spoken words and poetry a little bit of jazz and then going to the direction of full-blown rage music and then you know just full-on emo and hardcore and punk and um, heavy metal. I'm dipping my feet in genres that and sounds that I never would have imagined myself doing and and I, I like that. It's fun. It, it, it's, 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 it's nice. It's like, it's like, ooh. Artistry. My first introduction to the New Jersey underground scene was around when I started trying to make music and really just come out with everything. And it kind of felt like everything was divided and it felt like nobody really supported each other outside of their particular town. So I kind of always wanted to change that and kind of help like build up and grow the Jersey scene. And I kind of started to do that by just doing different events and stuff like that. And ever since then, I feel like I have a new perspective on the underground scene in New Jersey, just because what I experienced when I was first coming to the scene kind of feels different from now it just feels kind of more like an actual like community and I really did try to work to create that and I feel like everybody just helped that come into fruition just be a thing of just having everybody be an actual community and I feel like there's so much talent that in Jersey that just needs to be heard and just so much unheard talent so I feel like I 
have gotten to come to love the New Jersey scene, even though there's people who are not necessarily trying to help push it and just like would rather just go to another state or whatever. But I've kind of always been somebody who's like, I, I know that there's so many talented creatives in New Jersey and I feel as though I'm one of them and everybody shines in their own way. And that's really special because there's no sense of competition. It's all unity because we're all unique. No one's neck and neck, duking it out, battling, trying to be better than each other. We're all trying to pick each other up simultaneously and grow together. That's what true community is. There's something for everybody there. The contribution, I mean, the only thing I wish, uh, I, I hope that I contributed was just being my, being my authentic self and just being a cool dude and um, having uh, just genuine love and support for one another with all the people I work with. And, um, you know, even the friendships I made um, where like a lot of people, we just start hanging out and just being cool and that we call each other, make sure each other, make sure we're all okay. And just um, establishing that connection with, within the Jersey scene, within Jersey artists. It's just beautiful, man. So I can't wait to like see where this scene goes with next. And um, I'm super um, excited to see where everyone else goes to next and um, how far they're gonna take their career and their journey with it. And um, yeah, it's gonna be all love and support on my end. So, you know, that's what I feel like con I contribute to uh, the, the Jersey scene. I feel Everybody there is unbreakable. And I love everybody there is so talented. Everybody there is so skilled, so gifted. It's incredible to see, for real. I recommend anybody, anybody who wants to find new artists that they want to add to their playlists or whatever, definitely pop out to some Jersey events, whether it's Mad Minds, Takeover, or the Underground Elemental. There's a lot to f see, there's a lot to find. You're gonna leave with a lot to take home, I promise you. Like a lot of artists, the true artists who really spend time in their craft, really locked in the studio, really locked in at these shows, really sharpening their swords and just getting better and better and better. I see nothing but bright futures with them, man. I see nothing but, you know, them creating not only the best work for themselves, but really establishing themselves as true artists that's gonna, you know, reach uh, the proper respect and love and fan base that they can have within this big world of ours. So I really look forward to seeing um, where they could take it. You know, of course, like with every scene or every every um, every field, there's always gonna be some people that's gonna try to take advantage or try to like, you know, really be selfish with the community or be selfish with the, the art form or be selfish with like, you know, they only have their, they have their uh, behind, uh, their own intentions behind it, but we don't really focus on those people. We only focus on the ones who really give a fuck about uh, the work and really give a fuck about offering something great. Um, a couple shout outs to people that's really doing that. I feel like is people like um, is Smoke Bomb, uh, Kratos and Bullhead, you know, with the whole survive movement, rest in peace, Mach 6. Um, even Kurt Donovan of him, like, you know, taking time and effort to building the underground development it's um I really see them going forward and really having like really great potential and um even um even people who's already like killing in the game like Sama Savage and Ethan Ross like I see nothing but them going crazy even more having great potential to unlocking so much more success than we could ever imagine you know so um I, I'm really looking forward and um I think the potential is off the charts